Hello everyone, welcome to Crafts by Doty. There is a saying that goes one man's trash is another man's treasure. On today's video we'll be doing a trash to treasure project but before we get to the video I would like to appreciate all those new people who have subscribed to the Doty family. Feel welcomed and we hope that you're going to have a nice day with us. Last week we were taking a walk to our usual place where we normally pick glass bottles for upcycling when we came across this old lampshade. After researching on a few ideas, I settled on two beautiful ways on which I would turn the lampshade frames into something new. If you want to see that, make sure to watch the video to the end. These are the lampshade frames after removing the old fabric. I'm going to remove dirt and rust using a piece of fabric and cork. The frames are now ready and I'll be spraying a coat of white and also black spray paint on the two frames. For the first frame we are going to create a fruit holder using black beads. I used one full pack of beads which costs 200 Kenyan shillings. You can get all kinds of beads for your arts at Darit Center along River Road. So we will be inserting the beads into a string until we get enough length to fit the entire frame. I did prepare the beads beforehand, that is during my free time, so that we have enough for the project. At first I thought of combining the two frames to make one fruit holder, but I decided to work on them separately. So we are going to use the black beads on the black frame and uh, the macrame cord on the white one. So we are going to be tying the strands of beads all along the frame as people usually do on a normal macrame basket. I don't intend to take a lot of your time so I'm going to tie this off camera and be back when done. To finish the edges I'll be gluing the beads all along the flaps. We then remove the excess beads and glue the edge.
To complete our basket, I'm going to place jute fabric and add some artificial fruits. We are done and you can place this on your dining place or in your kitchen area. Our second idea is to create a planter using a macrame cord. I got the macrame cord along River Road on a textile shop and each was going for 200 Kenyan shillings. We are going to wrap it around using the same process as in the first one. Ensure you fasten the cord by gluing it using a hot glue gun before starting to wrap it around the frame. Just as we did on the first one, we are going to finish the flaps, but for this one, we are just looping the cord all along the edges. I'm going to leave the bottom part open since I will be placing a vase inside to hold the artificial plants. I got the artificial plants at 500 Kenyan shillings together with the vase and the artificial fruits for 180 Kenyan shillings. I got all these from a guy called Francis. His shop is located along River Road on the first floor of the East Mart building. Make sure to check him out if you need any of these supplies. That's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new out of that. Let me know in the comment section below how you feel about these implemented ideas. There are so many other ways that you can use to turn trash into treasure 
and mine has always been turning them into beautiful crafts. We hope that all of us are going to adopt this behavior of turning trash into treasure so that we can live a more beautiful and environmentally friendly lifestyle. Thank you for clicking into Crafts by Doty. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime we have a new video. Until next time, see you!